Hey guys, in this video I will be playing uh, the replay of a training battle against this player. The battle type will be domination, battle map is the Silk Road. Okay, let's begin. First showing you, the this barrack was placed here due to mistake. So I'm using the advantage of the rifleman infantry and taking most of the containers in the map and he's not getting much of uh, containers and he captured this flag with one or few assault infantries trying to capture it back but uh, assaults are much stronger than riflemen and we managed to have a scout he's still on the development process where I'm almost about to get HQ level 3 and then I will be preparing myself to go for Hawks production and meanwhile not sitting idle as well also I'm going to try to capture these flags the three assault infantry using the help of the flag it should be able to take down one carry however it did not because of my proper maneuvering and now also producing more carries and going to have my first hawk out very soon and need to have a scout of the enemy base as well okay typhoons are going through production another infantry will be going here revealing HQ level 3 one ear defense Okay, we'll try to destroy it. Okay, could not do it. There was also another typhoon, although this air defense was not uh, finished producing. And now I have this level 2 vehicle factory and upgrading this barrack into level 2 and going to produce grenadiers and sending them at the middle flag. It's a domination battle. I need domination points and there is only one flag unlike the before we saw in the Silk Road map there were several flags but this time no there is just one flag. So he's producing hammers and typhoons for now and I'm reinforcing more armadillos. Here the first hammer is coming. Hammer can easily take down coyotes so I better use my hawks properly. Okay just look how much damage one hawk take so if two hawks stay close so it's better if you keep the gaps between the hawks if two hawks are close the explosion of damage explosive damage on one hawk kills the others so you saw two typhoon one shot took down half of the hp of one hawk and those typhoons have uh, cost half the price of the cost that those typhoon uh, those hawks cost the double price than the typhoons now we are having armadillos because armadillos are both good against infantry and cyclones so they will definitely come in handy he's producing cyclones okay our scout revealing that he has HQ level 3 and Special Vehicle Factory 1, Special ve uh, Vehicle Factory 2 and producing Cyclones using one EV factory. He is not going to produce any Vertex. Okay, sending some Grenadiers and Riflemen. Now in late battle, uh, the way this is, uh, in lower ranks it's totally almost impossible for you to win a confrontation battle <clears throat> especially if the battle map is uh, so short like this it's definitely a good chance for confederation because you'll see uh, what I meant armadillos are definitely good but they consume three command points okay I'm going to move back I'm having advantage due to the high ground. It's very beneficial for me. And he's using 
cyclone which is a wise decision because this way he's getting the view of the upper ground and I am placing a lot of minefields around here. He had scout all over, very clever. Now just see hammer and other things. Two typhoon seas mode, okay. Still could not beat this one. And also one typhoon were there with march mode. Okay, more minefields going to place both lizard mine and frog mines so that both infantry and vehicles can take a big hit because okay here the first attack comes so in units number i definitely had the advantage and because of the minefields that i had Maddie, I was also able to reduce some of his units. I was now thinking of charging right through his base for attacking. However, there is two bunkers, so there is no reason for me to sacrifice my 10 or 12 vehicles because he will also have few units. So that will be a suicidal charge. So my best option is still keep on holding this flag. Since there is only one flag, I am getting domination points quite lately. Now you see I have level 3 HQ full command points. And I did not go for Jaguars because he is producing a large number of Cyclones. And Jaguars will be really vulnerable. So he can produce in HQ level 3 a lot larger uh, number of units. Now you see Torrents are revealing the view and those uh, Torrents are attacking and those views have, are revealed by the cyclones. So I'm forced to place the minefields a little behind because in a direct combat I'm now definitely going to lose. Because I not only I just have I'm lagging in the unit's number but also in the unit quality. So now finally I'm going HQ level 3, had one level 3 vehicle factory already and meanwhile destroying his uh, scouts. Okay, so what does he have? Zeus, Torrents and many lots of Cyclones and Cyclones being produced from two vehicle factory. Okay, again now you see his torrents are force firing here and force firing on the minefields can destroy the minefields however you need some good explosives if the explosion is large then it definitely can however he cannot go above the cliff if he tries to go above I can launch my attack at that moment I'm ha going to have Jaguars as well. I have full armadillo currently and I know that uh, in power Zeus Jaguars are definitely a lot more powerful. Okay, so it revealed how many units he have. Now I could have made an attack from the other direction of his base like this one and like this one but if I do uh, he can take the flag at the center and he will probably going go charging to my towards my base and it's really very difficult to counter Zeus torrent attack while he can counter my armadillo rushes using only assault infantry and bunkers Okay, now you see lots of cyclones, Zeus torrents, hammers are having no chance. And I have infantries. I'm lucky that I'm having some minefields around here. And one Jaguar is here already.
infantries at least uh, stopping them for a while because they take less damage from those Zeus now he's forced to attack he in a normal battle he could have defended his base properly and in a battle when the a base is so jammed packed like this one there isn't actually any large entrance for attacking the base or maneuvering the units in such kinds of map it's like you're just doomed and since there is no super weapon so developing fast in long games will not help you you might try rushing but that also requires good map and you know that in naval map can, uh, resistance can actually rush in these ranks but not in other maps so if the battle have lasted like 30 minutes it's definitely going to be a defeat even if 20 minutes then he could have developed without much resources he managed to do that because cyclone consume only two command points where the confederate uh, resistance units consume a lot more command points and not in power superior in power so due to domination i managed to win this battle so that's all for this video thank you